and welcome to Shepherd Elementary. I am Principal Mitchell, and our school is located at 1748 Charlotte Highway in Mooresville, North Carolina. We serve about 540 students, grades K through five. Come on in for a tour. We pride ourselves of being a wonderful community school as we have great relationships and communication with our parents. We offer rigorous academics and develop students' interests with music, art, PE, and STEM classes during the day, in addition to optional clubs that are available, such as chorus, drumline, chess, pause, robotics, battle of the books, safety patrol, and yearbook. Now, I'd like you to meet some of our teachers for each of our grade levels. Oh my gosh. Hi really there, this is Carla Stutz. I'm the instructional facilitator at Shepherd Elementary School. And I'm here with the kindergarten teachers, some of our kindergarten teachers. Um, we're growing by leaps and bounds, so who knows what might happen. But these ladies right here are in charge of our kindergarten group, and I just want to give them a chance to introduce themselves real quick. Hey, I'm Miss Bustle. Hey there, I'm Angelica Marsh. I'm Tadette Fazier. Welcome to kindergarten. Hey y'all, I'm Mrs. Warren. These ladies do an amazing job of taking care of all of our kinder babies down in kindergarten land. And I've brought them together today with some questions that you've sent in. And so we're just gonna go through the questions. I think Ms. Marsh, you're gonna answer the first one. What day does school start? So for the district, school starts on August 17th. Normally for kindergarten, we do things just a little bit differently. We do a staggered schedule start. And the way that works is we bring kindergartners in in small groups. And we do that just so that they get a little bit more individual attention. So you'll get more information about our staggered schedule over the summer and what that will look like. It'll also have details about our open house and lots more detailed information. So look for that in the mail over the summer and what that staggered schedule will look like. Thank you. And um, Mrs. Bustle, what time does school start? And what so time um, the first bell rings at um, 7.10, and that's when students can start coming into the classroom from the bus lot or from the car riders. Um, and then the tardy bell is at 7.30, and then we dismiss at 2.20. Okay. Hi, I'm Carla Stutz, the Instructional Facilitator at Shepherd Elementary School, and I'm here with the first grade teachers, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you real quick. Hi, I'm Ms. Dollinger. Hi, I'm Mrs. Platt. I can't wait for you to have you in my lap room. Hi, Ms. Sigmund. We're excited about next year. Hi, Ms. Stout. Can't wait to meet y'all. We've received some questions that you guys have sent in, and so we wanted to take a few minutes to answer your questions so you can feel a little bit better about first grade and the excitement that will come with it. So let's see, what does a day in first grade look like? What kind of schedule will we have, Ms. Platt? Well, our schedule will depend on when we have our lunch and recess and enhancements, but we will determine that during the summertime and the beginning of the school year. But a typical day of first grade is you'll come in in the morning and you will unpack and you will have um, some morning work or some activities to work on while everybody's coming in and getting settled. And then normally we go into a morning meeting or talk about our, how our day's gonna go. And then you will have a phonics lesson. After our phonics lesson, normally we will have a snack time where everybody gets to have a snack. And then we'll do our math. Um, your math is gonna consist of some whole group lesson with your whole class. And then you'll break into centers where you're gonna do some center time with um, math activities. Then we'll do, um, your teacher will have a read aloud for you. And then you'll have reading centers. Your reading centers will look a little bit different, but you will um, read with your teacher. And then you'll also have a center with your teacher assistant and then some activities you'll be working on. Um, normally we'll have Eagle time where we um, work with different teachers in our first grade group. Um, and then, like I said, we'll have an enhancement and our lunch and our recess time. So that's normally what a typical day in first grade will look like. 
Sounds like fun. Let's see, do you have free time to play in your classroom? Ms. Dolinger, do you have any toys? Well, in first grade, it's not quite the My name is Carla Stutz. I'm the instructional facilitator at Shepherd Elementary School, and we would like to welcome you to our second grade infomercial. I'll take a chance to let the second grade teachers introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm Miss Ackley. Nice to meet you. We're excited for you to come to second grade. Hi, I'm Dan LeClaire, second grade teacher, waiting for you guys to show up in second grade. Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Peebler. I'm in second grade, and I can't wait to see you soon. Hi, everyone. This is Mrs. Rossbaugh, and I am so excited to start second grade with you. So we have a few questions that we've been asked that we wanted to share our answers with you. The first question is that a student wanted to know is if we would have any projects going on in second grade. Mrs. Ackley, uh, would you like to answer that one? Or I'm sorry, Ms. Rosbaugh. No, that's okay. Okay, so in second grade, we will have lots of projects, lots of hands-on experiences, which is great for you guys to have fun and is actually a great way to learn. Um, so we are gonna be doing some chick hatching. This is an amazing opportunity where you get to experience the life cycle of chickens and roosters. Um, we're also going to be doing, um, every December we do a real life economics unit, which involves all of second grade. You guys get to become producers, consumers, employees, you get a paycheck, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, also, all the teachers do some separate activities. So um, we all do our own projects. All four of us do writing projects throughout the year, which we make like, really fun. Um, and then I have a favorite project of ours, but I'm gonna keep that a secret for right now. Excellent, thank you very much. The next okay. question, what kind of math will we do? Exactly. Well, in second grade, we have a lot of math to do. We're going to learn to. Good morning. This is Carla Stutz from Shepherd Elementary School. I'm the instructional facilitator. I have with me the third grade teachers, and they'd like to answer some of the questions you've sent in. So first off, let's introduce our third grade teachers. Hi, I'm Miss Brown. I'm Miss Volrod. I'm Mrs. Reinheimer. I am Mrs. Spanier. They are an excellent group to work with and they have a lot of fun in third grade, but they are going to answer some of your questions. First off, Ms. Reinheimer, will you tell us about math? Will sure. it be harder? Will you do multiplication and fractions? Well, math will not be harder. It's just gonna build on what you already know. So we will do both multiplication and fractions and it's very exciting and you will love it. Excellent. Ms. Fellerad, what about the day in third grade? What does it look like? And um, the day in third grade is typically just gonna look like a day in second grade, although you will be asked to spend longer times independently working to build your stamina for testing, but you also will be working in small groups. That sounds fun. What about snack and water bottles, Mrs. Banner? Yes, we definitely get snacks still, um, but each teacher will have their own policies, so it's going to be exciting to learn that on the first day. And water bottles are going to be okay? Oh, absolutely, yes. Just like snack, you'll be able to have your water bottle also. But again, um, you know, you're definitely going to want to have one that has a spill top um, protection, so we don't get that all over the floor. That could be a slip hazard. That wouldn't be <laughs> yes. good. Mrs. Brown, what about the testing in third grade, what does it look like? Well, we'll probably still have testing. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on testing information and guidelines due to the COVID stuff. But normally a typical day of testing would be like your second grade testing. You would have CFAs in reading and math, which are your common formatives on your um, state standards. Good morning, this is Carla Stutz from Shepherd Elementary School. I'm the instructional facilitator. I have with me the third grade teachers and they'd like to answer some of the questions you've sent in. So first off, let's introduce our third grade teachers. Hi, I'm Ms. Brown. I'm Ms. Volrod. I'm Mrs. Reinheimer. I am Mrs. Spanier. 
they are an excellent group to work with and they have a lot of fun in third grade, but they are going to answer some of your questions. First off, Ms. Reinheimer, will you tell us about math? Will sure. it be harder? Will you do multiplication and fractions? Well, math will not be harder. It's just going to build on what you already know. So we will do both multiplication and fractions and it's very exciting and you will love it. Excellent. Ms. Fellerad, what about the day in third grade? What does it look like? And um, the day in third grade is typically just going to look like a day in second grade, although you will be asked to spend longer times independently working to build your stamina for testing, but you also will be working in small groups. That sounds fun. What about snack and water bottles, Mrs. Banner? Yes, we definitely get snacks still, um, but each teacher will have their own policies, so it's going to be exciting to learn that on the first day. And water bottles are going to be okay? Oh, absolutely, yes. Just like snack, you'll be able to have your water bottle also. But again, um, you know, you're definitely going to want to have one that has a spill top um, protection, so we don't get that all over the floor. That could be a slip hazard. That wouldn't be <laughs> yes. good. Mrs. Brown, what about the testing in third grade, what does it look like? Well, we'll probably still have testing. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on testing information and guidelines due to the COVID stuff. But normally a typical day of testing would be like your second grade testing. You would have CFAs in reading and math, which are your common formatives on your um, state standards. Hi, this is Carla Stutz. I'm the instructional facilitator at Shepherd Elementary School, and I'm here with the, some of our fourth grade teachers. And we're going to first off start by introducing them. Hi, I'm Mrs. Foy. Hi, Mrs. Hahn. Hey, I'm Ms. Hecht. These ladies do a great job with our fourth grade um, instruction and working with students. They've been looking over some of the questions you've sent in. So the first question that you've been asked is what will or will fourth grade be hard? Well, I don't think fourth grade is hard. I believe if, if you're willing to put in the work and keep up with with everything, it won't be as challenging. It won't be as hard. Um, I, a lot of it has to do with your attitude about about it. If you have a good attitude about learning something new or when a challenge arises, if you have a good attitude and you want to, you know, you go at it head on and you want to tackle it, it won't be as hard if your attitude is right and you're willing to put in the work. Sounds good. Sounds about just about anything in life would be that way. Yes, ma'am. What will it be like in fourth grade? Will it be different than third grade? Well, the way I look at fourth grade is I look at it like a, I, I think about a snowball. And I think about when you're in kindergarten, you have a little snowball. And each year, at the next grade builds on the one before. So your, your snowball starts out small in kindergarten, and it gets bigger in first grade, bigger in second grade, bigger in third grade, and bigger in fourth. So it's just, the, the fourth grade builds on what you learned in third grade. That's a great analogy. Thank you. Yes. Now the important question, do we get snack and recess? Yes and yes, because we all like to eat and play. <laughs> uh, the time for snack and recess will depend on our schedule and the teacher guidelines, but once your teacher talks to you on the first day of school, you'll know more about what kinds of snacks to bring and um, what time we'll do recess, and you'll learn some of the guidelines at that point. Food is important and so is play. Totally. Yes. And what about projects? Do you guys do a lot of projects? Good morning. This is Carla Stutz. I'm the instructional facilitator at Shepherd Elementary School, and I'm here with the fifth grade teachers. They wanted to in, not only introduce themselves to you, but answer some of the questions you'd sent in. So first off, we'll start with introductions. We've got Mrs. Goodrich. Anything you want to say, Mrs. Goodrich? Hey, y'all. I'm excited to have you again from a year ago. Can't wait to see you in the fall. And we have Mrs. Chunderlook. Hi guys, I'm excited to see everybody and I hope you are getting really excited to come to fifth grade. We're going to have a wonderful year. And Mrs. Melissa Stubbs. Hi everyone, I'll be so happy to see you in the fall. Science rocks. <laughs> so we had a few questions sent in from parents and teachers, our parents and students. The first one is, the kids wanted to know if fifth grade was going to be hard. 
Uh, well, we get that question every year, and that's a common fear. Um, it will be uh, on your level. And every grade you go to, I think everybody always thinks is going to be hard. But when you get there, you realize that um, you, you do have to work hard, and you have to be responsible and respectful. But if you just do what's expected of you, it's fine. Like, I think we have a lot of fun. I think the kids always kind of miss us at the end of the year, really. But um, <laughs> they always say how much fun they had. And we do work hard. We have three EOGs. So we have, you have science, reading, and math this year. And so we have a little more to prepare for than maybe you're used to in previous grades. Um, you know, we do expect you to treat everybody respectfully. Um, we expect behaviors to be held high. So we don't have time. I mean, we just don't have time for a lot of, of nonsense and kind of, uh, misbehaving so we are firm on that but we're fair we're I think all three of us and, and four of us technically are very fair um, we um, like to have fun we like to kind of joke around a little bit but we also know the importance of hard work and we hear wonderful things about you guys so we know that you're going to work very hard and meet all our expectations so I hope you've all enjoyed your tour of Shepherd Elementary and we sincerely thank you for